Hello everyone and welcome back to a new quick and fun home decor video. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Bianca and I do lots of fun DIYs, so I hope you'll stick around. So let's get started with the first DIY. If you love traveling, you'll probably love this DIY. You will just need a picture frame, I got mine from IKEA, and any map or world atlas. I'm actually using my old school atlas and this is Romania by the way. A couple of you were wondering where I have this accent from and it is because I am from Romania. I hope my accent is not too annoying though. I've received some comments regarding my accent but nobody guessed I'm from Romania. Just Spain, Russia, Brazil or France, so now you know. Next you'll need some brushes and some acrylic paint or just a sharpie. I actually ended up using a black marker. First open your picture frame and peel off the sticker from both sides of the plastic. Then you'll need to choose the page you want to use in your picture frame and cut it to size. Now it's time to write or paint your text on the map. If your handwriting is not the best, which mine is neither, you can search for different handwriting style fonts on sites like dafonts.com where you can actually type your text and see how it looks like in different fonts. For me, this is a really helpful trick whenever I need to handwrite something. And this is it for the first DIY, just place your design in your frame, close it and hang it on your wall. For the next DIY you'll need a desk world globe, mine is actually thrifted and very very old, some golden spray paint, some acrylic paint, brushes and a black marker. I've started by taking out the metal part and spraying it gold. Make sure you do this step in a very well ventilated area. After everything is dry you can reassemble the globe and start painting it. I've used different pastel colors for the continents and blue for the water. You'll probably need to apply a second coat after the first one is dry for the colors to be opaque. You can use whatever colors you like and just let your imagination run free for this DIY. This is how my globe turned out. The finishing touch is to outline the continents using a black marker and I think this makes the biggest difference, it just looks finished. The last DIY is again something very very easy. I really wanted to add something colorful to my new IKEA basket. I'm sure you have seen this basket before, it's everywhere. So I've decided to make some pom-poms with my new pom-pom maker. If you don't have a pom-pom maker, you can easily DIY one using cardboard. I've chosen pink, orange and blue yarn for my pom-poms and made them using the biggest size in my pom-pom maker kit. To tie them to my basket I just wrapped a longer string that I've tied my pom-pom with around some small scissors and poke it through the weave of the basket, tied it on the inside and that was it. 
And if you ever get bored of your pom-poms and want to take them off or add some different ones, it's really really easy, you just have to untie them from the inside and pull them out. And this is the finished result. I really like it, I think it looks very boho chic and colorful. These DIYs were a bit easier than what I usually film, I hope you enjoyed them and hopefully it gave you some inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe for more home decor and fashion DIYs, like this video if you did like it and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye!